I haven't slept since uh, 2 a.m. But you know what? I'm here with a vengeance, and I'm back, everybody. Are y'all excited? You, YouTube, top tiers? What about you, Vinny? You excited to come back to work? Oh, I'm so excited. But you know what, everybody? I had a great time on my trip. Thanks for asking. I was on the, the boat going through my Twitter, and I saw the best of the Brian and Vinny show for the week, which was all the Christmas show. And it was pretty impressive because uh, he managed to put it together in a way where it looked like a really good show. Every year somebody tells me something I don't remember about the Christmas show. And I saw this animated gif of me punching Oreo. And I was like, what? Did that actually happen? I thought it was a Photoshop. And then it turned out it happened. But when? Say toy boat three times fast. Toy boy, toy boy, toy boy. Excellent. Ed Laredo wants to know, Granny, what? do you plan on going to see the new Disney movie Three Beauties and the Beast? No, thanks. Now, this <laughs> <laughs> idiot. I hadn't even showered in like six days when I took that picture. God. Dude, you're on a boat. I know. I was in you're the water every water. day. What do we need a shower for? They had a pool there. Angle, Edge, and Christian against the big fat guy, Ridisky or something. <laughs> Ridisky, I think it was. <laughs> Ridisky, yes. The big hairy guy put his butt in, oh. in uh, poor Christian's face. Gross. Gross. Disgusting. Rushy beats Christian bad. Who? <laughs> He's a Roshki. <laughs> Is the Barons in this match? Uh, whatever I call him, whatever. Rock has upper hand for a while, but Triple H has a win this one, which... Uh-oh. Triple Hitch. <laughs> yeah. Triple H won. Let's when, put when you got a way. big trailer. H how do you pronounce D-I-B-I-A-S-O? The base. The base? The base. That's how you pronounced it last week. I would have called it diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> diabetes? Let me call him D. Bear. Did the million dollar D have a scary organ? Or? Mm -hmm. Bear left an ur urine from it. This ur ur urn supposedly hold the undertaker's power. He lifted the lid. This uh, Bartlett's kind of starting to grow on me a little bit. He says something funny here and there. It's kind of like Craig. Who doesn't? Thank you. Craig, Craig is much funnier yeah. than Rob Bartlett. Thank well, you. I'm not going to argue that, but... They play the same role. Uh, I know my place, okay? Yeah. He was Terry talking about Hulk. Whatever. Two different people here. I, as we learned in the trial, because as he said, Hulk Hogan does not have a 10-inch penis. So okay. That's what? what he said. That's what he said during his trial. Okay. Thanks, Craig. Look, look it up. No. Not the... Never mind. Absolutely not. He goes, you'll believe in Hulk Hogan. I'm like, that's a commandment now? It would be like if Hogan said, thou shalt have no other Hulksters other than me. I forget how it goes. Before me? You can't believe. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'll never forget when I used to teach uh, gymnastics. Terry Ayler. Taylor, the Terry guy, Ayler is an awesome gimmick. The guy that He's ran just hurt all the time. was an engineer at Boeing. I, I'd thrown this paper airplane, and he goes, let me show you how to make a real paper airplane. And he takes it, and he goes, whoosh, and this plane goes straight fucking down into the ground. It didn't go two feet before it plummeted into the ground. I thought, you're making fucking airplanes? You stepped on my joke for that. I did. Terry Ayler. He's a wrestler that has a bad time at everything. He's always ailing. That's funny. <laughs> that? That yes. was what I stepped on? Abs absolutely. I used to work at this gymnastics place. I'm going to tell my joke again. That was fucking horrible. Where's Rob Bartlett? And Garcia's got the bell, and they're standing there, standing there, standing there, and he finally lays out Santana with this ring bell. And like the instant it goes ding off his head, Judas begins to play, and Chris Jericho comes out to make the save. <laughs> well, th so there was some sort of a timing issue here. Clearly, he used to be a horseman. Now he's just a whore. And speaking of Brandy Rhodes, he says... Calls her the first brandy he's ever known that's not a stripper, which 
I know several Brandys, actually, they were not strippers. But anyway, Brandy replies, oh, so you're a black belt? Well, I'm a black bitch. And the place goes crazy. It's like Jerry Springer. There's much, there's actually. there's a bunch of people on there, and you watch a show, and you're like, oh, my God, look at all these people. But someone will say something like, oh, man, that was a good singer. Oh, look what that guy said to that guy. That's what this is right here. Jade Cargill versus Thunder Rosa and her awesome X-23 cosplay. This match was not a good match. No. It went was, 11 minutes. It was very bad, in fact. Yes. And you should not have a, a final match in a tournament that's coming up. And the only thing that you can think as a fan is, I hope they don't go 11 minutes. That's not what you want for your tournament final. No, no. Right? MJF, you are a waste of my time. You are a bigger waste of con family money than Tim Tebow. And the crowd in Jacksonville gasps and then applauds. Because <laughs> things for the Jaguars are not going well. The lights go out. They come back on. And there's Alistair Black pointing at him. They go back out. And I guess he's supposed to vanish. But instead, they come back on too early. He's just wandering back through the tunnel again. Uh-huh. This was weird. Cole is very upset that in his very first match in AEW, Kyle O'Reilly has booted him in the face. Well, it's not only that. Everything that they do is playing into this storyline. And the... the Who is friends the with who? The fate of the Undisputed is being booked far better here than it was in the other company. Yes. The story of NXT is a big story that will have ramifications for decades, okay? This NXT show is the future of the biggest wrestling company on the fucking planet, okay? This is where all of their new stars are going to come from. They're not even looking at indie folks anymore, okay? So your WrestleManias over the next couple of years are going to be Grayson Wallers and Odyssey Jones and whoever's left in WWE that's now going to be in, like, their mid-40s, early 50s. Like, this is the future of WWE, everybody, and it's not looking good. Now, do I think it's going to stay like this forever? No, Vince is going to lose his mind, and he's going to start hiring indie guys again or whatever at some point. But right now, this is the future of the whole wrestling industry, this NXT 2.0. It sucks. It's a big fucking story. Before the end of the night, you have to pick... Either me or Santos Escobar. This is their idea of a relationship. Who is in my room? Mommy needs your help. What do you need my help for? Your help. Can you shut my door, please? Sorry. I left for one second. <laughs> he challenges them to a trios match instead, to which Walter replies in the greatest moment of Walter's career, Is that what you really want? You barefooted nerd. (laughs) But he pulled it off somehow. He's Walter. Yes. Trick is awesome. And Malcolm is awesome. Dude, this segment was awesome. This was a legitimate great segment on NXT 2.0. Raquel turns around and she sees her partner, Cora, making the cover, which if successful, will earn Raquel a title shot. And she breaks up the pin. (laughs) Raquel screams at Cora, do I have to do everything? No, you don't have to do everything. You don't have to pin her. She was trying to pin this woman for you. You broke it up, you idiot. God, help me, dude. This show, this, everyone, is the future of WWE, and thus, at this point, the future of the entire wrestling industry. 